Hi everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do shading and highlights for anime style hair. We're going to hopefully end up with something similar to this. I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the brushes that I use and how to make them, and then we'll go into the shading and highlights. So the first brush that you're going to want to create is going to be the 80% hard round brush. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the settings. So, um, hardness is at 80%, spacing is at 1%. You want to turn that all the way down. The size jitter is set to pen pressure, and then I have a texture in there, it looks like. That's optional. I think I was using that for something else. So the texture is optional, and then down there you can go ahead and tick smoothing. If you look at the brush, um, it will be hard and it will be really, really crisp. The lines will be crisp. So that's great for details and also for line art. This next brush is going to be your shading brush, or at least this is my shading brush. It's um, It's got uh, that kind of opacity to it. Um, to make this brush, I went and turned the spacing to 10%. Um, we have the shape dynamic set to pen pressure. Transfer is on opacity jitters pen pressure, flow jitter is also pen pressure. And then you're going to want to go ahead and tick build up and smoothing as well. And this will create your shading brush and you can make this uh, a hard brush, you can make it a soft brush. Currently as a default I'm making it a hard brush but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you make it a soft brush. This next brush that I'm going to use, I actually found a tutorial online to teach me how to do it. You're going to um, set the spacing to 79%, looks like the angle is negative 40 degrees, and hardness is 15%. Um, for shape dynamics, go ahead and set that to pen pressure under size jitter, and set the scattering to 41%, both axes. You're going to want to turn transfer on and set the strength jitter to pen pressure and then go ahead and tick smoothing and it will look funny uh, like a bunch of circles um, in, your, uh, in your preview but go ahead and take a look at what it does when you set the smudge tool to using that brush. It, um, it acts like the Psy water brush. Photoshop doesn't have a water brush, and back when I used Psy, um, it uh, it was really awesome because it had the water brush, but we don't have that, so you can make it that way. To start off with the hair, I took the skin color and I just did a default soft uh, brush on the bangs because it's reflecting off her face, and then I also made her little strip of um, red hair on the side. So to start shading, I go ahead and make a new layer and I set it to a clipping mask. The way I do all my shading is I, I have the shape cut out and I clipping mask everything. And I set it to multiply, that's as the blending option. And then you can see I'm starting to paint in the hair using the shading brush. Um, it looks like it's might be about like 80% hard or 70% hard. Um, but you'll go ahead and shade like the bottoms of the hair, the, the very tips of the hair and you just want to go ahead and lightly shade that and the next brush you're going to use is you're going to use the shading brush but you're going to turn the hardness up and you're going to go ahead and start doing the details into the hair um shade the parts that look like they're overlapping um i also used the smudge tool brush to go ahead and feather the edges a little bit so it's not so hard but basically in this step what you're trying to do is you're just trying to overlap the hair and show the depth of the hair by shading those little pieces that are um, underneath other pieces of hair The 
next brush that I'm going to use is I'm going to use that 80% hard brush to go ahead and put in even more details, draw in the strands. The reason I'm using this brush is because I want the details to be really crisp, really clean, and very fine. So I set the brush to um, a very, very tiny pixel, like maybe I think 5 to 7 or something, and I go ahead and I start drawing in those lines. Um, I will use the, uh, I will sometimes use the smudge brush um, to go ahead and feather those edges in because you don't want it to be too hard, um, but you don't want it to be too soft. So you kind of get a feel for what, um, what it exactly you're going to go ahead and feather off. So I continue to do the, um, the lines, the very crisp lines with that hard round brush in the hair, just drawing those strands in and uh, creating that detail and the texture that's going to go into the hair. The next tool that I use is I use the default soft brush um, to go ahead and shade the top of the head and then I use my hard 80% uh, hard round brush to go ahead and make the details coming from there because if you look at somebody's head like at the very top it's very very dark because all the roots are you know coming inward towards the scalp um, and then I, I do the strands of hair coming outward because that's where the hair is coming out from. Uh, from the scalp on the very top of the head. So uh, that gives it more texture that defines some of the strands a little bit better. To start off with highlighting, I made another clipping mask and I set the blending option to color dodge instead of multiply this time because it's going to be the highlights. Um, I go ahead and I take my shading brush and I just do two strokes across the head um, and then I go ahead and I start actually erasing pieces using my 80% uh, hard brush but it's it's at a bigger pixel size this time and you just want to like erase the areas that are most shaded uh, and then I change the pixel size to be a little bit smaller and then I start erasing more strands and it looks funny right now but it will get a little bit better we're gonna shape it with the default uh, soft brush as an eraser um, so you just want to start erasing away parts of it uh, so that it looks a little bit more natural because before it was it was just too um, it was too hard edged and it was too many lines so we go ahead and uh, make it a little bit more natural by doing this the next step is you're going to take your brush and you're going to go ahead and draw in some of those highlighted strands so it's like extending the areas where you already highlighted into the strands of the hair and that really really helps uh, with texture this is all I think on the same layer I can't <laughs> I can't see right now because the screen is too small um, but I believe it's the same uh, same layer of uh, that I'm working on finished piece looks like. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, I'll hopefully make more of these. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.